In this video, we will show you how to file an emergency telephone user's surcharge return. We protect all the confidential information you provide to us. First, go to our website, cdtfa.ca.gov, and at the top, click on Login. That will take you to the online services login page. You must log in with a username and password. For assistance with creating a username and password, please watch our tutorials online. On the CDTFA online services login page, we will enter our username and password. Then click Login. On the online services profile page under the Accounts tab, we will click on the emergency telephone hyperlink. This will take us to the emergency telephone account page. Please note, there are a few differences when it comes to filing if you are a billing aggregator. As a billing aggregator, you will be able to file an emergency telephone user's surcharge return and make a payment separately for each service supplier or access our bulk file template to file and pay on behalf of multiple service suppliers. To file a return and make a payment on behalf of service suppliers, you will be required to obtain a third-party access. Please see our video tutorial regarding third-party access on our Tutorials page. To submit a bulk file and pay on behalf of multiple service suppliers, please contact us directly at stfregupdates at cdtfa.ca.gov to request bulk file access. To begin filing your emergency telephone user's surcharge return, under the Periods tab, click on the File Return hyperlink next to the return period for which you would like to file. In our example, we will file for the month of January, which is displayed by its return end date of January 31, 2023. On the Surcharge Transactions page, enter the number of access lines and retail transactions subject to the surcharge. The 911 and 988 surcharges are imposed on each wireline, postpaid wireless, and voice over internet protocol access line that the service user subscribed to in California, and on the purchase of prepaid mobile telephony services for each retail transaction in California. Enter the total number of wireline and postpaid wireless communication service lines subscribed, subject to the surcharges. Enter the total number of VoIP communication service lines subscribed in California subject to the surcharges. Enter the number of retail transactions of prepaid mobile telephony services subject to the surcharges. The system will automatically calculate and apply the rates of the surcharge to the number of access lines and retail transactions. For help with your return, you can click on the blue hyperlink, Online Filing Instructions, or call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711. In this example, we have 5,000 wireline and postpaid wireless communication service lines subject to the surcharges. We have 2,000 VoIP communication service lines subject to the surcharges. We have 1,000 retail transactions of prepaid mobile telephony services subject to the surcharges. The system automatically calculated the total amount of the 911 surcharge of $2,400 and the total amount of the 988 surcharge, $640. Any rates reflected in this example are for illustration purposes only. You can view all the rates on our website. If you choose, you can save your work at any time by clicking the Save Draft button. Enter your password and click OK. You will then be directed to a confirmation page. Now that you've saved your draft, let's go back to filing your return. Click the Continue Editing button. Now we are back to your return. After entering your numbers, click Next to continue filing. This brings us to the Schedule TEA Refusal to Pay Schedule page. Select Yes if there were service users who refused to pay the 911 or the 988 surcharges. If you select Yes, you will be required to provide the name, address, amount of refused surcharge, and the reason, if known, for any service users who refuse to pay a cumulative total of $3 or more in surcharges. In our example, we do have service users who refuse to pay, so we will select Yes. 
You can click on the empty fields and directly key in the information required. Once all the required information is entered, click the Next button to continue. On the Deductions page, under the 911 Surcharge section, the total amount of 911 surcharge for which service users refuse to pay will pre-populate from the information entered on the Refusal to Pay schedule from the previous page, if any. Enter the total 911 surcharge on prepaid mobile telephony services, MTS, that you previously paid to CDTFA on accounts that have been found worthless and have been charged off for income tax purposes. Do not include any reported surcharges found to be worthless related to wire lines, postpaid wireless lines, and VoIP lines. In our example, we have no surcharge related to prepaid MTS worthless accounts and will leave the zero amount as is. Under the 988 surcharge section, the total amount of 988 surcharge for which service users refuse to pay will pre-populate from the information entered on the refusal to pay schedule from the previous page, if any. Enter the total 988 surcharge on prepaid mobile telephony services, MTS, that you previously paid to CDTFA on accounts that have been found worthless and have been charged off for income tax purposes. Do not include any reported surcharges found to be worthless related to wire lines, postpaid wireless lines, and VoIP lines. In our example, we have no surcharge related to prepaid MTS worthless accounts and will leave the zero amount as is. Click the Next button to continue. On the Excess Surcharge Collected page under the Excess 911 Surcharge Collected section, if you collected more 911 surcharge than what is due, select Yes. Then enter the Excess 911 Surcharge Collected. In our example, we do have excess 911 surcharge to report and we'll enter the amount in excess 911 surcharge collected field. Under the excess 988 surcharge collected section, if you collected more 988 surcharge than what is due, select yes. Then enter the excess 988 surcharge collected. In our example, we did not have excess 988 surcharge to report and we'll leave the zero amount as is. Click the Next button to continue. Review the summary page. If you need to make an adjustment, click Previous. For the option to print a draft of your return prior to submission, click on the Save Draft button. If the information displayed on the page is correct, click Next. On the Your Information page, review the pre-filled information and make changes if necessary. In this example, we are not a paid preparer and will select No. When all required fields are completed, click Submit. When you click Submit, a window will appear to confirm your intent to file electronically and that your return is true, correct, and complete. Please read this information carefully. Enter your password and click OK to submit. The confirmation page represents a return filing only. Please take note of your confirmation number and the total amount due. To make an electronic payment, click on the Make a Payment button. To print your submitted return, click on the Print Return button. You can also share your feedback by clicking on the Online Services Survey button. Your opinion counts. If you still have questions, please call our Customer Service Center at 1-800-400-7115, California Relay Service at 711.